One of the things that, that um, I often wondered when I was preparing to be a priest, how I would deal with, was, was the whole question of death. Um, I remember as a 14-year-old as child, I had a pet budgie and, and he died. And we buried him in the flower, uh, the, you know, the, the flower bed just outside the front door of the house. And uh, I, I used to be quite nervous passing by there <laughs> at night. So if I was afraid of a dead budgie, how was I going to handle the business of the pastoral care of people who are dying, you know, 10 years later? And, uh, you know, I still remember the first time uh, uh, someone called me. Uh, to come quickly, my father is dying, and going to, to their home. And the strange thing about it was they all assumed that because I was a priest, I knew what to do. It was the first time I had ever been with a dying person. And, uh, you, you know, strangely enough, I kind of did know what to do because I, I think maybe, you know, the Holy Spirit works in that situation too. And, um, you know, it's, again, it's a great, privilege for a priest to be part of that uh, you know moment or that period of time when when a person is coming to the end of their earthly life and preparing you know to enter into eternal life and to support them in that journey and to to also support their their, their family and uh, to to be able to speak I suppose words of consolation which don't come from the priest but which come from from God's own word uh, and again that's that's the thing which I think as a priest you know I, I find very important is to remember that um, I don't come to people with just words of my own uh, I come to them with with God's word and uh, you know nothing nothing is as powerful as, as the word of God when when we allow it to speak and maybe sometimes the mistake we make is, is, is trying to uh, add a whole lot of other words to it. Um, the, uh, the experience of caring for, 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 for the sick and, and the dying is, is something that, uh, you know, has always been uh, part of my life as a priest. And it always strikes me as strange then that, you know, people think somehow you know, that the church is against death. You know, when we talk, for instance, about the, and one of the areas that I've been particularly concerned with in my life and worked quite a lot with is the whole area of, uh, of um, bioethics and healthcare ethics and the respect for life and so on. And uh, you know, people have this idea that, you know, oh, the church is against death. The church is not against death. In fact, we spent, we spent you know, a huge amount of our energy and our pastoral resources in helping people to journey through life, to live life to the full until death naturally comes. Obviously, it's it's a different thing to say that we, we, we clearly believe that because life is a gift that comes from God, that um, you know it's not uh, the right of any one person to decide when another person's life should end. And that's something that I feel very, very strongly about. And uh, I, I hope that uh, somehow or other um, through helping people to reflect on uh, the gift of life which they have received themselves they they will see that, you know that the ultimate vocation of, of every person you know man woman and child uh, is to live life which is God's gift to us uh, to the full until such time as as uh, that life comes to a natural end uh, in the arms of God.